Okay, so first of all, I have two lists here and I want to compare these lists to find the missing values. I want to find all of the values that are in 2017, but not in 2016, and all of the values that are in 2016, but not in 2017. And I'm going to be doing this using this formula, and I'm going to show you how to build this formula step by step. So the first step is the count if formula, and this formula works by going equals count if. Then the range I'm going to use is this range here, and the criterion is going to be greater than three in quotation marks, and then close brackets and enter. And this gives me a value of two, and that is because the count if formula is counting the number of values in this range that meet a certain criteria, in this case greater than three. And there are only two values in this range that have a value greater than three, that's four and five, so I get the number two. Now when using the count if formula in the context of searching for missing values, this works by going equals count if, then the range is going to be this range here, and I need to press F4 to insert the dollar signs into this range, so it won't move around when I click and drag the formula. Then the criterion is going to be this value here. And you can see it's giving me a preview up here of what the result is going to be. What this formula is doing is it's searching for this value in this range and it's counting the number of times that it appears and it appears only once. Now I can drag this formula down and you can see that for most of the values we get the number one but for some of them we get zero and that is because it's searching for this value in this range and then counting the number of times it appears, but it doesn't appear at all, so we get a count of zero. And in this way, we can use this to find the missing values. So we know that this value and this value and this value is missing from the 2016 list. Now, this formula can be changed into an array formula you just need to make sure that you select the correct number of cells and then go equals count if. Then the range is going to be this range here. And then the criterion is going to be this range here. And what this formula is going to do, it's going to look for this value in this range and count how many times it appears. Then it's going to move down one cell and look for the number of times this value appears in this range. And it's going to do that all of the way down the column. So in order to get an array formula to work, you have to press Control, Shift and Enter and this changes it into an array formula, then I need to press enter one more time to get it to fill in the cells. And this produces the same result as before. You can see that these values here are still all zeros. However, the difference this time is that this formula here is only in the top cell and all of the other cells just have a number in them. So that is the first step in this formula. The next part is the filter formula. And how the filter formula works is that you do equals filter. And then the range is going to be these values here. And then the condition is going to be if these values here are greater than three and then close brackets and enter. And this gives me the values of D and E. And how this formula works is that it's looking in this range and it's filtering this list. And the criteria on which it's filtering it is this part here. So it's looking in this range 
and finding all of the values greater than 3, which is only 4 and 5. So that gives me the results of D and E because they're the ones that line up. So in order to use this filter formula for searching for missing values, I need to do equals filter. Then the range is going to be this range here and I'm going to filter it and the condition is going to be if any of these values equal zero because we know all of the missing values have a number zero and then close brackets and enter and you can see it's now listed these three values here which are the same ones that have zeros here now, instead of doing the count if and the filter formulas separately, we can put them together. So we can do equals filter, and I'm going to filter this range here. But then my condition is going to be the count if formula. And the range for the count if formula is going to be the opposite list then the criterion is going to be this list here. And then close brackets. And I'm gonna say if this is equal to zero, because all of the missing values will have a value of zero, then I want it to filter out those values. So when I press enter, it gives me the same list again. And I no longer need this part here. Now, say we didn't want the results to populate out across multiple cells. Say we wanted them all to be listed in just one cell. Well, that is where the text join part of the formula comes in. Text join works a little like the concatenate formula. So you do equals text join. Then you select the delimiter, which is the thing you want in between each of your values. In this case, I want it to have a comma and then a space, and that needs to be in quotation marks. Then I have to say whether I want it to ignore empty values or not. And it is true that I want it to ignore empty values, although I don't have empty values in this case. Then I have to say what text I want it to join together. So I want it to join these three values here together. And when I press enter for this, you can see I now have a list of the three missing values. So now the next step is to put the text join formula together with the filter and the count if formulas to create this formula here. So I'm going to do equals text join. Then the delimiter is going to be a comma and a space. It is true that I want it to ignore empty values. And then the text I want it to join together will be the results of this filter formula. And I'm going to be filtering this range here. And then the condition I'm going to be filtering it on is the count if formula, which is going to have the range here, which is the opposite list. And then the criterion is this list here. Now I'm going to do close brackets. And if the count if formula gives a value of zero, I want it to give me those results. And I need to close brackets twice and then enter. And now I get this list here. So now I can delete these values here and these values here and everything is in just one cell. Now I'm going to show you how to do that one more time, but this time the opposite way around. So I'm going to do equals text join. Then the delimiter is a comma and a space. It is true that I want it to ignore missing values. Then the text I want to join together is the results of this filter formula. And I'm going to be filtering this range this time. And then the condition for the filter formula is going to be the count if formula. And this time the range has to be the opposite list. Then the criterion is this list here. 
and then I'm going to close brackets and say if that is equal to zero and then close brackets twice and enter. And now you can see I get a list here of four different values. And if we just check here, we can see that this value is in the 2016 list, but not in the 2017 list. So the formula is working correctly. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to compare two lists in Excel and search for missing values. And that is everything.